I've just replaced some of the electrolytic capacitors in this uh, Roden Schwartz signal generator. Um, it's the generator I use mostly actually because it's easy to use, I like the analog controls. Um, it was becoming a little bit temperamental and a little bit sort of glitchy on the uh, waveform output. I used to find that when it was warming up, the output would jump about and sort of become very noisy, almost like it was modulated by some sort of signal going into the unit, which it wasn't. With the modulation turned off, there was a sort of like a, a load of noise on the top of the waveform. Uh, these are the caps it uses. They're quite a, a well-known sort of type of cap. Um, you see these here. Now, I replaced the first one I replaced. This one isn't so bad, but the first one I replaced had a crack in it all the way along the circumference of the capacitor. And it was only small, it just looked like a, looked like a bit of sort of like a varnish at first. But when I took it apart, and took it off the board and checked it with the capacitance meter, it was totally open circuit, nothing at all. So I've gone around replacing a lot of these capacitors. Now most of these are actually okay. I mean, this, this is a what's this, this is a 47 at 40 volts this capacitor was okay but um, it seems to have suffered there's a there's a rack at the back of the unit in a, an enclosed case that is um, has no ventilation at all and it gets quite hot in there there's one of the power amplifiers um, up below it and there's a, a uh, an RF transistor on a big heat sink and when the when the rig's working quite hard it does get quite hot so yeah, I took the cap out. Actually, the capacitor felt it didn't weigh anything at all when I took it out. It felt like it was just like a plastic package. It obviously leaked out all its electrolyte. So anyway, I've re replaced the capacitors, and now you see that the uh, the waveform on the scope's lovely and clean, much better than it was before. It was always sort of like furry, like it was like some sort of AM modulation on the set all the time. Um, it's running at... I've recalibrated the um, RFs. Uh, the frequency counter to this Raykel um, counter because I know that the Raykel has a oven control in it so it's uh, extremely accurate. Um, at the moment I'll just demonstrate the output here. Roger Schwartz is showing 10 megs on the dot and that's the output on the signal generator. And see how stable that is? That's to sort of five, six decimal places. It's moving a few hertz maybe at the ma maximum. And so the app is lovely and stable now. So I'm really, really, really pleased with just changing a couple of the capacitors have made a big improvement to this unit. Um, I also found that actually when he turned it on it used to drift um, up and down. I mean all signal generators will do that to a degree anyway until they warmed up but the drift is nothing like it used to be. It used to drift you know, a kilohertz or so, but now it seems to drift to sort of maybe a hundred hertz and then settles down and, and sort of becomes stable. Anyway, so that's the that's the signal of the um, Roger Schwartz on the, on the scope now. What I'm going to do is feed in the signal generator, the Marconi signal generator in on the second channel and you can see how f they're very 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 close together. Um, I'll just increase the volts per division. So the Roden Schwartz is the one on the top, and the uh, Mar the Marconi is the one at the bottom. In fact, I can bring them into sync by just ordering the fine control on the uh, on the Roden Schwartz, and that really gives you an idea of how stable both the the units are. There's very very little. There's no jitter at all. There's a very very slight drift. You see the red shorts is just indicating on 10 megs, and the uh, Marconi is on 10 megs as well. So no, I'm really pleased with the uh, result from just changing a couple of capacitors. You wouldn't think it would make any difference, but it has made a huge difference. And the, the set works really well. I'll just demonstrate a few. It's got in, it's, it's a lovely generator, this. I actually bought this for about 50 quid in sort of spares and repairs state. Um, it weighs a ton and it's huge. It's it's really too big for the workshop, but and it's only very limited. It will only run from um, 10 kilohertz to 40 megs. But for for VFM alignment, you know, it'll do the IF strip fine. Um, and then I'll use the Marconi to do the uh, the higher frequencies, like the the actual band spread and things like that. So it's got in, it's got internal modulation. So 
that's the AM modulation there on the top of the sinus sinusoid waveform. That's the AM, that's a 1 kilohertz AM modulation. Um, it hasn't got sweep. It, there is an option for sweep, but this hasn't been fitted with it. They call it here, they call it a wobulator, or wobulin here, which is the... Uh, I think you press this button and feed it to one of these ports, but it, it doesn't work. Um, and you've got external modulation on the AM as well. Um, and then that's the AM section, so it's no modulation, external and internal, and that's your internal modulation. It's got FM modulation. You can't really see that until I slow the time base down, but there's the there's the FM modulation. And you can call that up on the meter here, and that shows you that's at 75% modulation. It's nearly 100% modulation, so... Very basic, sort of dating from probably the 70s. Um, but beautifully made inside, all sort of modular systems, all the, all the power supply slots in. Um, all very high quality components, as you'd expect from a company like Rosen Schwartz. Um, yeah, I thought I'd give you a quick rundown on it. Um, oh yeah, there's some external modulation ports are here. Uh, and it's got a very basic non-auto-ranging meter. Uh, you have to select manually. Most of the time just leave it in there. It's only a, that's near enough for most things. And if you need a more accurate meter, I can always use the Raykel. But uh, yeah, so that's a good repair for today. Thanks for watching.